Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my home fragrance empties for the month of November. I have a ton of crap. <laughs> I actually got through a decent amount of stuff last month, which I'm very happy about because as I've mentioned before, I have a lot of wax and I have a lot of candles and I'm trying to get through as much as I can. I probably should be using more, but this is what I got through. So I'm going to start with candles and then I will go to Scentsy Wax and then I will go to Vendor Wax. And I'm actually going to start leaving timestamps down below because I don't know if you guys want to see all of it. So I will leave timestamps down in the description box for everything. So let's start with candles. I think in November I may have still been melting some summer scents like I was trying to finish them off maybe more so in vendor wax but there may be some scentsy I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure I don't and I don't know about the candles either I think these may all be these are all fall winter candles but let me share with you what I have I have mostly Bath and Body Works but I have one from Homeworks this was a holiday candle from last year this is oak and red current and they don't put set notes on here but I really purchased this because I loved the jar I think this is so beautiful and the sticker it appears can be removed yeah it can definitely be removed I'm just gonna have to take some either alcohol and I may test a certain area just to make sure it doesn't rub off doesn't take off this gold um gold part but I really did like this I think this is really pretty for either like a potted plant or something so anyway I kept this this was okay it actually smelled up my living room in a small area and I liked the way this smelled I actually have one more of these I can't remember the scent on it but I'll probably be pulling it out to melt in December but yeah I really liked that I was a little bit surprised. And then I have one from Homeworks. This is Wild Crimson Current. I loved this. Set notes for this are red currants, Turkish rose petals, pink lady apple, and patchouli. This was delightful. That was really good. I really did enjoy this one. I would buy more of this if I saw it. I need to check on QVC to see what they have for sale for Homeworks because that was really good. I don't need any more candles. But... Okay, the rest of these are Bath and Body Works. The first one I have is Warm Vanilla Sugar and this is the packaging. I think I purchased this last year. No, 2000, which is last year. This is Intoxicating Vanilla, White Orchid, Sparkling Sugar, Fresh Jasmine, and Creamy Sandalwood. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Did do some sitting, but that's my bad. I love the way this smells. I have this, I had this in the shower gel, the scent of the shower gel, and I really enjoyed it. So I would absolutely purchase this again. I also have pumpkin vanilla cream or creme. And this is a 2000 candle. This is creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, fresh ground nutmeg, graham cracker crust normally I wouldn't like a scent like that but I actually like this I didn't like love it to the point where I would be like I'm purchasing this again but I actually enjoyed it as it was melting it's not an all-time favorite but I like that that was nice it wasn't super bakery it's not like the graham cracker crust was like in your face and the spice was not in your face either, which is what I was, I'm always worried about that when it comes to pumpkin scents. I really didn't mind that at all. Next up, I have blackberries and basil, and this is one of my favorites for the holiday season. This is fresh blackberries, sparkling champagne, and basil, and this was also a 2000 candle. This is really nice. If you don't like typical holiday scents and you like fruity, this is good. I think you can melt this year round. I really do love this. It's so good. Yum. I have snowflakes and citrus. And this is another one of my favorites this time of year. This is a 2000 candle. Juicy citrus, fresh spring water, sweet mango. And this is delightful. 
Yeah, I really do love this one. I don't think it's really a holiday candle except for the name. <laughs> But I like it for those of us who don't like typical holiday scents to be able to melt or burn something that's not tree or pumpkin. The last one I have is Lavender Bergamot. And this was really nice. I melted this here in the bedroom. This is a 2021 candle. Bright lavender, bold bergamot zest, warm tonka bean. I like this a lot it's a great spa scent really great for the bedroom or bathroom i loved this it was really pretty i would 100 percent repurchase that again if i saw it and i think they may still carry it but i don't need any candles right now i did buy some during candle day though and i but i don't think i saw this during candle day i could be wrong okay i do have some wallflowers i have mango coconut cooler and let's see i think this was in my living room yeah this was i used this in my living room i have tiki beach so i was replacing all my wallflowers this was in my bedroom and then this one is watermelon lemonade and that's what this one is i think this was in the living room also like on the one side of my living area so yeah i got i replaced all three of these they were probably like <sighs> all dried up from like maybe a month ago because I forgot to change them out and I will also say I found this in my bathroom like a drawer in my bathroom like little vanity thing where I keep my towels I have a little drawer in there and I think I used this in a wallflower a while ago this is sun ripened raspberry and this was from February. But I think one of my mystery wallflowers was probably this because I just found it like hiding in that drawer. So this is a reminder to myself to take it out of my inventory. Okay, now let's get to Scentsy. There's a ton of Scentsy. And so I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. And I don't have set notes, so sorry. First up is Happy Birthday. And this is a Bring Back My Bar that I don't have in my club currently. But everybody loves this. Everybody loves Happy Birthday. I don't think it's all that. I, but again, I'm not a bakery, a typical bakery scent fan. This is just kind of boring in my opinion. I'm prob That's probably like people who love this scent are like, <gasps> because it's a very loved scent and I think it's actually coming back in January for the bring back my bar for that month yeah but I just you know I typically buy one or two clams and that's it like I just don't I'm not really that super excited about it I have summer sunshine and this is a scent that I picked up from the UK and this was nice. I don't remember it being super strong, but it smells really good. I feel like there's like coconut in here. Yeah, that's really pretty. I just don't remember it being like blowing me over in terms of the throw. From the Glamorous You collection, I think is what this was with Grace. This is really pretty. I think if you've got it in a smaller space, like a bedroom or even a bathroom would be fine. But I really enjoyed this in my bedroom. There's one other scent and I have to find it in here that I love from this collection. But this was really beautiful. And this is in my club. So it will stay there for a little while. This is an old scent of the month from Sensei. This is Buzzworthy. And I think this may be my last clam of this. I think this is okay. I think Lisa Roberry like loves this and it's in her club. I find it a little bit off. And I think if I melted it with something else, I would have liked it better. But you know, it's not, it's not a favorite for me. I have Jack's. <laughs> I have Jack's Obsession. So this is a limited edition scent that comes around during Halloween. And I like this one. I don't love it. In fact, I had it in my club for a little while and then I took it out. There's a, other apple scents that I prefer to this. So, you know. 
But if you like apple and you like a little bit of a spicy apple, this is really nice for that and it's strong. So I would recommend it. And I love how they have these like holographic clams. They're so cute. I melted this in my bathroom. This is apricot vanilla. And you know, this is light, which is why it's in my bathroom. And it was okay. It's if you prefer lighter fragrances, I think you would really like this. This is really pretty, especially in the bedroom and the bathroom. I just prefer something a little stronger, but it was nice in the bathroom for what it was. This is so I one of the things I did is I tried to work through some of my fall wax that I may not like love love. So I have from Scentsy apple and cinnamon sticks. And this wasn't terrible. I actually didn't mind this. It has a little bit of a sour note that I can't quite place. But I think I ended up mixing this with like vanilla bean uh, buttercream. Not vanilla, it's vanilla bean buttercream. And I really did like it mixed with that because it cut down on the like sharp cinnamon scent. So it was nice, but I, I would never repurchase that. And I use that in the kitchen. This is one of my favorites. This is the uh, a Disney collaboration and it's in the Aladdin scent Three Wishes. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, it's juicy, juicy blueberry. I love this. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I love that. Oh my gosh, it's so good strong too and I think you can melt that year round Whew. it's in my club berry fairy tale oh my gosh this came out what like two three years ago as part of a holiday collection this is so good it is so good it is delicious I melted this in the bathroom palm trees and ocean breezes no actually laundry room this was the laundry room and this is nice You know, this is sitting in my club. I may take this out. I may regret that later, but I don't know. I'm, I like it. I don't know that I love, love it. You know, like I have other scents that I like in the bathroom, which is another place that I could melt this. And there's other scents for the laundry room that I prefer. So this may be getting the boot. I'm not hundred percent sure. I have an old scent of the month bar. This is Rise and Sunshine. And this is a citrus scent, but like a fall citrus. In my opinion, it, it's almost like it has mandarin or like an exotic citrus scent. And I, I do like this. It's also a little bit spicy. I like this. I didn't love it enough to put it on my club, but it's nice this time of year. It's not super spicy, but just enough to make it like a fall scent, if that makes sense. I didn't mind that. From the moment by moment collection, I have down the aisle. And I honestly don't remember smelling this like it wasn't strong. It was very faint. This was in my laundry area, which that is really tiny. And I should be able to smell anything I put in there. And that was really faint. So I would not keep that in my club. I have Scarlet Sunflower. And this is a new scent for this fall winter. And this is nice. Again, I felt like this was light. I don't know if it's just me. Because I've heard, I think I've heard great things about this scent. But it seemed kind of light. I'm going to keep it in my club for a little bit. Well, I'll probably add it to my club because I really do like the way it smells. And I just wonder if it's going to cure with age, like cure stronger with age. So we'll have to see. Another moment by moment collection bar. This is Happy New Home. And I think this is again another one I melted in the laundry area. It's kind of, yeah, definitely. And again, I don't think it was super strong. So I wouldn't keep that. Wild Black Cherry. Wow. This is in your face, Cherry. Oh, oh, wow. I cut down the powerhouse of this, powerhouse-ness of this. It was too much cherry. With, I think, vanilla bean, buttercream, 
I think that's what I did it with. And that really helped. Or happy birthday would be another good one. It was just too much cherry for me. If you love cherry scents, you may try this. If it ever comes back and I bring it back my bar. But yeah, that was strong. Strong. I had one. I think this is my last claim of this. This is Twitter painted. This is part of the Disney collection. It's like the, the Bambi one. And I melted this in the bathroom. And it's great for the bathroom. I think in my spare bathroom. It's great in the bathroom. But it's not something I love enough to repurchase. 100 Acre Wood. Okay, this one is unique. It's really pretty. Like a cozy, almost almost sensual scent. I mean, I hate to say that about a Disney. Um, but it's got that cozy vibe to it. And I do like that a lot. I may end up putting this in my club. Maybe. Because that smells really good. Okay, from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, this is Halloween Town. And I don't love this one. It's okay. It's it's a bit more... I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it's a bit more nose-searing than Jack's Obsession. I, I had it in my club for a hot minute and then I took it out. And I don't regret that decision. But if you like spicy apple scents... Give this one a go. From the Disney collection, I have Angel Experiment 624. This is beautiful. I love this one. It's like a juice. It's a fruity floral. It's a fruity floral. It's so pretty. And my club won't, won't leave. Will not leave. And another one from the Moment by Moment collection. This is Birthday Wishes. If you like birthday cake scents, go with Happy Birthday. This one, I it was not as sweet. Which, not that I don't mind that, but I feel like you get more of the cake note, and I don't like that. So I would not keep that one. If I was going to do like a birthday scent, I would keep, I would do happy birthday. Okay, from the Find Your Happy Wax collection, this is Wild, Barefoot, and Free. Milo, stop doing that. This one here. This I melted in the laundry area. It's kind of a green scent you know like tree like grass yeah a little aquatic a little green and I don't mind this I just didn't need it in my collection forever <sighs> from okay I also have pumpkin chai this was a limited edition scent from last year. I'm sure I have cat hair all over me. And, I, you know, I don't like pumpkin scents typically. This one is not bad. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. Like, I think I prefer it melting than in the clam. I didn't hate it. But again, not a scent that I need to repurchase. I have several of these that I need to eventually get through. Uh, from the Disney collection, I have We're All Mad Here. This is from Alice in Wonderland, and this is really pretty. Fruity yumminess. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. In my club. Okay, this is a Bring Back My Bar that I was a little scared to melt. This is Painted Leaves, and I know so many people love this. I'm not one of them. It's a tree scent-ish, you know? Yeah. I don't even know how to describe it, but I don't love it. I can't. I can't smell that anymore. Okay, I have Happy Hibiscus, and this is leftover from my summer melting in the bedroom. And this was nice. It's not a scent that I need to have. Again, it was a nice floral, but, you know, again, not a scent that I need to repurchase. I have Milo hair everywhere. Okay, these two are kind of duds. This is Fire Kiss Fireworks from the Find Your Happy Collection. This was my favorite scent on cold, but it does not throw worth anything. You can't even smell it whenever you put it in. The, and I put four bars. I put four cubes in. I've tried two. I've tried one. Nothing. It's just 
Nothing. Which is a total bummer because I love the way that smells on cold. And then from the Catching Z's collection, I have Pillow Time. Another one where I have to put four cubes in the melter to even smell it. And I just, it's a bummer. I don't necessarily know that I love the scent anyway, but the fact that it doesn't throw is added salt to the wound. <laughs> Sometimes you get duds. I have from the Find Your Happy Collection, Showered in Flowers. And this one was okay. This was in the laundry room. And it was a nice lavender. It was a nice lavender. But I don't have it in my club. From uh, Scent of the Month, this is Jeweled Pomegranate. And this one's nice. It's not a must-have for me, even though it's a pomegranate scent. I typically prefer stronger pomegranate scents. I don't know. This just isn't doing it for me. And I'm a huge pomegranate fan. From... The Glamorous You collection, I have Born to Shine, and I think this is the one that I freaking loved. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Yeah. Love this so much. I have guessed. I have Bring Back My Bar sent Cashmere Pear, and I had this in my club for a hot minute and then took it out. It's nice. It's a bit light for me, like maybe light to medium in terms of throw. And I don't love the scent enough to, you know, power through that. I have black currant bubbly, which is another big back my bar. This is nice. I melted this in the kitchen. It's a nice fruity, like bubbly scent, but I don't need it. I don't have to have it. From Find Your Happy, I have Sunrise with Friends. I melted this in the laundry room. You know, I think I decided to take this out of my club because I don't love it. I don't need it. I mean, I like it, but I don't love it. You know what I mean? So it's out of my club, but I'll melt what I have in the laundry area. From Glamorous You, I have Keep It Sassy. This one's really good, too. Oh my God, these are so good. I had really great luck with these in the bedroom. They smell so good. I have Autumn Road Trip. And I think this was, I don't, can't remember if they still have this in, in the catalog. I'm terrible. I mean, it's a good fall scent, but I don't love, love it. You know, I have Red Pear and Pomegranate. And this was a scent of the month scent. No, it was not. I lied. This is new. I can't remember where I got this from. This is, this is good, but it has an undercurrent scent. You know what I mean? And I get a little bit of a cat pee smell in the clam, but I don't remember smelling that whenever I melted it. So even though I, I think this was a scent of the month. Okay, now I can't remember. It doesn't say it on the packaging, but I would not repurchase this. And lastly... From the Jelly Belly collection, Tutti Fruity. Oh, this is, no, I did not like this. Mm -mm. It has licorice. So if you like licorice, then you may like this. I do not, or Anise, I do not like that scent. And so I toned this down with vanilla bean butter, buttercream. I, mm -mm, no, I had to, I pushed to get through that. Okay, that was all the Scentsy Wax. I do have a couple of scent circles. I have Bonfire Beach, and I use this in my car. I have Apple Butter Frosting. This was in my trash can, and then Around the Campfire was in my trash can. I don't like this scent, but it worked fine as a scent circle in the kitchen trash can. I don't like it in wax. Okay, that is everything from Scentsy. <laughs> I have one like commercial wax clam. This is from Woodwick. This is Applewood. I think I picked this up on like clearance at Walmart one like last year, this time of year. And this was okay. You know, it was a nice apple scent, but I would not repurchase that. And now let's get on to vendor wax. I have two scent shot cups, one from Empire Alchemy. This is Oud Fig. This is cashmere woods, tonka bean, vanilla ice cream, fig jam, and oud wood. All that sounds really good, but this was light. 
I really couldn't smell it whenever I was melting it. So mm, kind of a bummer. From Up North Creations, I have Capri Blue. And this is Tropical Fruits, Sugared Oranges, Lemons, and Limes. And I melted this in the bathroom. And this was nice. Again, it was kind of light, so I would not repurchase that. And then I have two clams. One from Super Tarts in Tie Me Up. And this is strawberries, vanilla bean, and champagne. And this was nice. I melted this in the kitchen, but not a repurchase for me. And then from Teddy Bee's, I have his, which is a large clam. These are huge. And this is Blue Sugar, Marshmallow Fireside, and Palo Santo. And this was really nice. It's really nice. If you like masculine scents and if you love Palo Santo, I would try this. I think there's other scents from her that I prefer. So I don't know that I would repurchase this one. Oh, I have another commercial wax clam that I missed. This is from Huntington Home. Did I say that that candle was Huntington Home? If not, that's what it was. This is... Uh, pumpkin spiced whipped cream. This is not bad. The spice note in this is light when you're melting it. And I didn't hate it whenever it was melting, but I didn't love it, love it. So I wouldn't repurchase. And then I got through a ton of bags as usual. From Nanny's Kitchen Melts, I have vanilla cocoa. I'm just trying to get through my Nanny's Kitchen Melts. Melts. Don't remember smelling that very well. From L3 Waxing Wonders, I have Strawberry Raspberry Guava Margarita. And this was really pretty in the kitchen. Really nice in the kitchen. I really enjoyed this. So good. I love L3. Love, love, love. Um, another one from L3. This is Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies, Cheesecake, Cuppy Cake. Okay. This came in a mystery bag. Box. Mystery box. Last year. And so, again typical bakery scents I don't usually purchase. I didn't hate that. I think it's the blackberry jam. It took me a long time to get through it, but I finally did. From Vintage Cheek Scents, I have Sweeney's Barber Shop. And this is a very strong uh, shaving cream blended with fresh strawberries. It's a minty shaving cream. It was very strong. I don't know that I would repurchase it because I don't love mint as much and I think I was intrigued about it but yeah I would not repurchase that from sassy girl Roma I have be alterated which is a coconut cream pie in the kitchen scent and in the kitchen it's like a collection of scents a blend that she does this was okay it wasn't super strong it was really cute it was in the shape of like a beehive like hexagon thing, but it wasn't strong enough for me to keep. From Blended with Love, I have Captain Hook, which is shaving cream, pink sugar, and vanilla sandalwood. And again, this is another one of those shaving creams that I'm like, it's okay, but I don't need to have it again. From L3, I have Strawberry Biolage, and this was strong, and it was actually nice. I actually liked that a lot. I don't know that I would repurchase it, maybe, but it was nice. It was a nice scent. From Rainbow Melts, I have Pumpkin Caramel Crunch Cookies. And this is Gooey Caramel and Crunchy Pumpkin Cookies. This I liked. I was really surprised, but I did not mind this at all. For a pumpkin scent, it was really good. I cannot believe I'm saying that. From Hayden Rowe, I have Exhale, and I think I melted this here in the bedroom, and it was nice. It wasn't a I need you again scent, if you know what I mean, but I didn't mind it. I didn't, I thought it, it was a, it was a nice scent for the bathroom. I just, I just don't need it. I don't need to purchase it again. Uh, Blended with Love, I have, and I think her new name is a Starlet Corner. This is Beauty School Dropout Shaving Cream, Avo Bath, and Strawberry. And I remember liking this, but not love loving it. It's a really nice, like bright citrusy scent with that Avo Bath, but again, I don't need it. From Empire Alchemy, I have Velour. 
And I don't remember what this one is. It smells like. This is white linen type, lime, uh, 2543 type, and plum wine with figs. I melted this in the laundry room, and I don't remember it being strong. So I would not repurchase that. From That Smell Good Shop, I have Cashmere Woods, Toasty Noel, and Palo Santo. And I remember liking this, but I don't, I didn't love it, so I don't think I would repurchase that. From Rose Girls, I have Beach Bonfire, and I worked on this one, like I think all throughout the summer. It's nice. I have decided that I don't really love those like bonfire, fiery scents. So I don't know that I would repurchase this, but this was, I mean, it, it wasn't super strong on that like campfire note, but I don't think I love it enough to, 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 to buy it again. From Empire Alchemy, I have Bikini Bottom, Pina Colada, Tropic Suntan Lotion, Papaya Lemon Sugar Drop. Papaya Lemon Sugar Drop is what that is. And I think I, I remember liking this one a lot. I did this one in my study, and I think this was really, really nice. I would probably repurchase that one. Another Blended with Love. This is Salty Sea Air, Beach by Bobby Brown, Coconut, and Pineapple. And I melted this in the bathroom. Nice. I don't think I need this again. Okay, this. I need more of this in my life. This is by Rainbow Melts. It is Sweet Paris. Oh my gosh, this was so freaking fantastic. Paris Bakery with sweet notes of blackberry, lemon, and buttery vanilla. That was amazing. I miss this. It's so good. I would buy like four of these again. Oh my God, it was so good. So, so good. And I don't remember it being, it wasn't like a super bakery scent, but that blackberry and lemon, oh, so good. From L3, I have Lighthouse. This is Sea Air, White Musk, Lavender, Cashmere, Amber, Tonka, Cedar, and Plum. And this was nice. It was kind of light in my bedroom. But it was a nice, like, I feel like it was a nice aquatic scent. But it was kind of light. From Empire Alchemy, I have Pumpkin King. This is Vanilla Patchouli, Pumpkin Spice, Black Pepper, and Sea Salt. And I had melted most of this last year. So I just had a few like little pieces left. And this is nice for a pumpkin scent, but I don't need to repurchase it. I didn't mind it though. From Blended With Love, I have Can I Steal You For A Second, Vanilla Champagne, Sugar Plum, and Pink Chiffon. And I melted this in the bedroom. And this was pretty. Yeah, this one was really pretty, but again, I don't need this. Like, I don't have to have it 100%. From L3, I have Smoked Vanilla, Blackberry, and Sugared Violets. I'm trying to remember. I may have melted some of this last year. I think I actually know. I melted this in the bedroom, and this was nice, but that Smoked Vanilla, I didn't love. And lastly... I have from Lovely Bath and Wax, Fall Under a Spell. This is Love Spell Vanilla Lace and Fresh and Clean. And I use this in my laundry area. And it was okay. It was kind of on the light end, so I would not repurchase. That is everything I got through in November. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I don't know where the cats are. They abandoned me. He jumps high, right? I just... <laughs> hey guys, it's Jalen. <coughs> and the last one I have is from Bath and Body Works, obviously. Okay, this one was in my 
bedroom. I melt. <laughs> I have an old son of the month club. Uh, so, Hi. Hi. Oh, I know. What are you doing? Chill. It's okay. You're purring. I need to trim your nails. Yes, I do. Oh. Why is, what is it about cat purring that just oh, relaxes you? I love it. What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> Hello. Why are you always gonna stick your tail in my face? Oh, don't fall. Hi. Hi. That's him telling me, scratch me, mom, scratch me. Hey. I'm gonna regret that kiss. Now I'm gonna have cat hair all over me. I don't even know how to describe that. It's a Lee. It's like a, um, it's like a, it's a, like a, from Vinti, Vin, from Empire Alchemy. I have bikini bottom, pina colada. Bye.